congratulations on the, the week, the finding, the finding Dory week. Yes. The fact that I got the call, first of all, I'm excited about the movie, but secondly, that you would call me, I've done the show many times, but you would think of me on this special week to mm -hmm. be a guest. I mm -hmm. thought, oh my God, this is, I, I just, I was so moved. And I wanted to do something special because you're, uh, so I, I wanted, I said, I can't, I always go empty handed and you're always giving guest things and audience things. I want to give you something. What do you buy for Ellen? Like, what do you get? So I went to the, they have this uh, World Wide Web and I, uh, <laughs> and I got on it. And I said, you know, because I had no ideas. And I said, like, oh, so I put woman, because you're a woman. And I said, friend, friend. And I said, what do you want for a female friend? You want health and you want safety. And I'm not, this is not a joke. This is what came, this when is the box. When you said woman friend? I said woman friend health. And this is what came. You pull it out. Pull it out. That's what, that's what. <laughs> now let me show you. It's not a, I know what you're thinking. It's, it's not just a brassiere. And I bought, you've given me underwear, so this is yes. fitting. What do you mean it's not just a brassiere? Okay, it's say you're with a friend and you're walking in the sand on the beach or in the, in the desert and, there's, and wind, there's a sandstorm. What do you need in a sandstorm? It's an emer, right. Yeah. So this is, this is an emergent, I don't know what camera, what camera should I point at so you can see? Four or you? Look at that, can you see that? It's the emer, oh, let me, it's the emergency bra. It's an emergency, so if there was a sandstorm and you couldn't breathe or there was really bad, uh, you know, exhaust. Look, well, with your friend, you first put on yours. <laughs> and then you try it, like you would do, you gotta put, like, like in the plane, put yeah. yours on first. Right. And then your friend, I'll be, can I, so I'm your you friend. So you can only have one friend with you. Well, see, so we both put it on. Put it on. Oh. And that's it, and we can just. Just, yeah, okay. Just be safe. I love you and Thank uh, you so much. Well <laughs> Thank it's you. It's finding so Dory Week. You gotta you. do something special. I'm gonna leave it on so if someone well, tunes in late, they they don't have any idea. Well they'll be mad at me, like no. well, what did he do? Yeah, they'll just be like, like he unclipped her. Yeah. <laughs> From here it's like I'm dating again. Yeah. <laughs> One hand. It is really clever because you can hook it from the back or the front, so it's, right. uh, it's a safety. it's a it's a great safety bra first. to have. Thank anyway. you, and there's a an instruction you. manual. I'll bring I'll bring this home. Well, that's, where that's else great. would you leave that? Yeah, well, he, <laughs> I, I for sure would not leave it here. Right. Yeah, there's no way. But, uh, I would, I would, uh, anyway, congratulations. Thank on the movie. you so You're much. You're wonderful. How do you do the voice? How do you do that oh, voice? Oh, it's really hard. It's just me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you do voices. See, I don't, I, when I went in. Well, you're using an S. Yes. Uh, there's no S in what I do. You know, people think I do voices because when I was, uh, well, I'll tell you something. When I was 11 years old, I was at a birthday party and I was choking on a piece of cake. This is a true story. And it went halfway down. They're laughing at you choking laugh on a piece of cake. That's not funny. I know it's not, it's but not they're funny. laughing at no, you. No, so watch your children. This is not funny. It was halfway down my throat and I couldn't breathe and the air was constricted. Kind of like when you have a balloon and you pull the, the, the nipple of the balloon, you know, and it makes that high. So I'm going, Hurt me. that's a sound that, Hurt me. and everybody, they were laughing. I'm dying, you don't laugh. <laughs> but it got dislodged and I lived and I thought to myself, oh my God, everybody at the party was looking at me and laughing. If I could just bring myself this close to death each and every night, uh -huh. I could be an entertainer. So like an idiot, I practiced in my room. I got good at it. I got real good at it with just the muscles in my throat. No cake. Don't try that at home. And I went to school and in the back of the class in my friend's ear, I would go, help me. And he would laugh. The teacher would catch me and go, Howie Mandel, if you have something funny to say, you stand up and you tell the whole class. And I remember thinking, she's right. Why perform for one person <laughs> when there's a so like an idiot, I would stand up and I'd go, and she'd go out in the hall and I'd go, yes, why play the small rooms when I could play the halls, the cafeteria, and one day, maybe the Ellen Show. So this is like a dream come true. And then I went out to California and I started using that. I made uh, vo uh, Muppet Babies was my first, I was Skeeter on the Muppet Babies. And Skeeter's Scooter's little sister. Can I not talk like that? And then I did, but that's Bobby, it's the same voice. I did Bobby's World on Fox through right. the 90s. I was a little character called Bobby. That's, that's Bobby. And so Bobby that's, sounded like. 
That's right. Dave, it's the, it's the same, it's the same voice. And hey, yeah, probably is this. And then I did, and then I did Skeeter, which is the same voice. And then the Gremlin movies. Remember Gizmo, the first little. Fu oh, that's Skeeter. So Skeeter, Skeeter, sir. And the person in the control room is going, "What's he gonna mention?" <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell, yeah, so I want to tell, so, but anyway, and this is, I'm him, I'm Gizmo, and I would go, Pick him same voice. So this is, this, so this is, Skeeter, Bobby, Gizmo. It's all one voice. Wow. I did That's have amazing. a, amazing. I could lower it. This is, I never used this on television or film, but I could lower it so it sounded like I was in a terrible helium accident. And I would, go to, I would go to the emergency rooms of hospitals to the admitting desk with the helium voice. This is before nobody would recognize me. I'd go to the admitting nurse and I'd go, uh, excuse me, um, can I please speak to a doctor? <laughs> and, and she'd look at me like that. She'd go, what's the problem? I'd go, what do you mean, what's the problem? <laughs> I was at a birthday party. I wasn't the only one doing this. Everybody was doing this. Wow. They had the helium balloons. They took the helium balloons. They sucked in the helium, everybody went, hoo hoo, ha ha, doesn't it mean that funny? <laughs> Everybody's voice went back to normal within like a minute, <laughs> maybe a minute and a half. <laughs> this is like two, two and a half weeks ago. I am starting to get concerned. <laughs> so that's what I would do. Does that hurt to do that? No, this, this is... hurts right now, yeah, talking oh, like that. No. I can actually, this is my voice, and when I get hoarse, you know, your voice in your throat hurts. Doing this, I'm not using my voice. So I can, when I have laryngitis, this is how I talk. Wow. <laughs> it's really clear, because it's just the air. It's just the air. It's, it's like a balloon. It's hilarious. All right, we have to take a break, but that voice, I know you're a grandpa now, so I, I want to hear how those kids react to that. We'll they be, love me. I bet they do.